uh, moving on more than a couple of weeks into their fourth war. And Israel and Hamas are already facing allegations of possible war crimes in Gaza. Now, Israel says that Hamas is using Palestinian civilians as human shields, while critics accuse Israel of using disproportionate force. In the latest, the United Nations Rights Chief has voiced deep concerns over Israel's recent barrage of deadly airstrikes. Addressing a special session of the United Nations Human Rights Council, Michelle Bachelet has pointed out that Israeli activities might constitute war crimes. Is found to be indiscriminate and disproportionate in their impact on civilians and civilian objects, such attacks may constitute war crimes. Now, before a truce took hold last Friday, Israeli airstrikes and artillery had fired on Gaza, killing around 253 Palestinians, including 66 children and wounded more than 1,900 people in just 11 days of conflict. Now, rockets and other fire from Gaza has claimed 12 lives in Israel, including one child and an Arab-Israeli teenager. Some 357 people in Israel were wounded. Now, the UN rights chief has highlighted the scale of the destruction in Gaza and called on Hamas and all armed groups to refrain from the use of indiscriminate rockets and mortars. In the 11-day deadly conflict, several governmental buildings, residential homes, international humanitarian organizations, medical facilities, and media offices were hit. Now, despite Israeli claims that many of these buildings were hosting armed groups, the United Nations have not found any evidence in this regard. The 47-member council was debating a draft resolution to launch a broad international investigation into the violations surrounding the latest Gaza violence. The investigation will also cover the systematic abuses and uh, this in Palestinian territories and inside Israel. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.